Rumors claim that the HTC Nexus tablet is just a month away. Credible sources are talking of Windows 9 and Windows Phone 9 for September, and we get the first details of the Samsung Gear 3. I'm Jaime Rivera, and how about if you plan the jokes for next week? Leave us a comment and I'll pick the top 5. This is Pocket Now Daily. And I guess we're gonna have to forget about the official news and talk about the Moto X Plus One. Even though famous tipster Evleaks was retired, it seems that he found some very interesting renders of the Moto X Plus One, and these match exactly with the other renders that we had seen before. So this is clearly what design we can expect, and we know that we should be expecting this phone in the next couple of weeks in the Motorola event. Just hoping that Motorola for the first time brings us uh, much better specifications according to the rumors, even though we're still wondering what that Moto fork is. Now let's talk about the Samsung Gear 3. Yes, we've got an exclusive here on what to expect from this smartwatch in the future. Number one, it seems that curved displays are going to be the thing, so expect that to come in the Gear 3, though we don't have any specific dates. In addition to a new home button that is apparently going to be more useful than the current one that's kind of hard to press, but even more interesting is the fact that apparently Samsung will continue with Tizen. Even though we have Android Wear today, it seems that uh, Samsung wants to continue its own thing and hopefully give us a variant that's going to focus on Android Wear. But yeah, Tizen is going to be the deal. Yes, it's only going to work on Galaxy phones as it currently does, uh, unless you tweak it. Uh, let's see what we get. We should be expecting this Gear 3. Who knows? Probably at EFA. And one of the biggest confusions we have when it comes to rumors is the Nokia Lumia 830. You remember that the 820 was a mid-tiered phone. And as it turns out, we got some more leaked documents and photos of the Lumia 830 showing us a replaceable battery and a huge camera bump. Uh, sort of the one like we see on the Lumia 1020, which makes us wonder if Nokia is planning to pull a Samsung. You know, the K-Zoom is actually a Galaxy S5 Mini uh, with a big camera. So could it be that they're not bringing flagship specifications to the next camera phone from Nokia? Let's hope that's not the case as we do love the 1020. Now let's talk about HTC and Google as we keep hearing more rumors of an HTC Nexus tablet. Apparently this is the T1, we've heard this code name before, but even more interesting it seems that we should expect this tablet to be announced before October 9. I don't know exactly why October 9 is special, but it seems that number one that will be the close to launch date, and number two Android L would be fully unveiled then on this tablet, just like the Nexus 7 has done in previous times. So yeah. Probably we already know when Android L is going to hit the market, October 9 it seems. And finally for the hot rumors of the day, let's talk about Microsoft and Windows. And I know this hasn't reached the hot news of the day in ages. There are reasons for that. People didn't really like Windows 8 and Windows 8.1, even though cool, hasn't garnered enough praise from the market. And as it turns out, it seems that the company is preparing for a launch or at least an announcement, a uh, closed beta announcement to developers on September 30th for Windows 9. We're expecting them to get rid of the charms bar, a new start menu, among other features that might be launched here, including Cortana. But even more interesting, it seems that at this event, we will also be seeing the merger between Windows RT and Windows Phone 9. Now we're not really sure if 9 is going to be the moniker for this new version of the operating system. We're just assuming here we should expect this to happen at the event, but we already know what Microsoft does. Sometimes they tell you this is the new version of Windows and they don't give you a number or a name, but that leads me to the question of the day. What would be your wish list for Windows 9 in order for you to either continue buying Windows instead of going to a Mac or, you know, to go back to Windows? Because in my case, oh my God, you know, I would love to see Windows 7 again. The whole UI of Windows 7 was better. I feel that OS 10 has done a much better job at evolving, especially with the way it connects with the iPhone and the iPad now with the whole continuity thing on iOS 8 and Yosemite. So I wish to see something like this with Windows Phone. There has to be a value in owning a Windows Phone and the Windows computer. There has to be a purpose between that and there isn't any right now. But leave us a comment down below. What do you think? Friends, you know the drill. If you want to get the news earlier before this video was filmed, sheet, follow us on Pogonow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next week.